streetcar. It's an exciting new form of transportation coming to Tempe, but the project has now been delayed and you may be able to guess the reason. ABC 15's Mark Thompson now with some answers. Valley Metro had hoped to have Tempe streetcar service up and running by now, but like so many industries facing COVID-related supply chain delays, riders are going to have to wait a little bit longer. Construction is done, signage is in place, and Valley Metro currently has three streetcars ready to hit the road. Problem is, they need six of the cars to start service. Spokesperson Madeline Phipps explains the delay. We've received a few of our vehicles and we're just waiting to receive a few more. Um, the factory in Pennsylvania, Brookville, that's building them was forced to shut down due to COVID last spring, so that's caused a little bit of a delay in our opening timeline. The $200 million project now scheduled to begin next spring, covering three miles with 14 stops along the route. It's a really interesting vehicle. A hybrid equipped with a self charging battery. The streetcar can travel both with or without a top wire, sharing the road with drivers. The streetcar is a little different than light rail because it actually travels within the flow of traffic. And if it works out in Tempe, Valley Metro says service could soon expand to Mesa. A feasibility study completed this summer identifying five potential routes to support a booming population. That area is actually anticipated to have 50 percent more population and another 34 percent of workers in the next several years. And it's now in the hands of the city council to determine the next steps. And Valley Metro says they're still working out fair prices for the streetcar, but say it should come in just a little bit under what it costs to ride the light rail. In Tempe, Mark Thompson, ABC 15, Arizona.